What's going on again, John Deere 757 owners? It's time for a blade change. Wanted to give you an idea of what we're going to need for the job. Um, definitely going to want a jack. And what I actually do is pull back on these rhino ramps to give myself a little more clearance. Um, probably want a jack stand just in case your jack fails. You never know, always be safe. Um, now, for this job, I highly recommend an impact wrench. This is not a drill. This is a, an impact. Um, if you don't know the difference in that, you might want to do some Googling. Your drill will not work for this job if your blades are on as tight as they should be. Um, maybe it will. I've got a Milwaukee and it definitely doesn't work. You're going to want a 2 by 4 or some piece of wood to stop the blade from turning when you're using that impact. And uh, of course, you're going to need some John Deere blades. So what I'm going to do is... Get this joker jacked up. There we go. You can tell that my uh, anti-scalping wheels are dangling. And uh, sneak preview, guys, for what's coming next. Guess what's in that box? Anti-scalping wheels. I just bought two to make sure that they were right. And uh, we're also going to take care of some of this rust that I've got on the deck. That's embarrassing, but I've got some uh, rust preventative that should be here tomorrow, so keep an eye out for that. So you want to get your deck up to where you can safely work underneath it. I'm thinking about right there, and we're going to set our jack stand somewhere just in case if it falls. We don't want it falling on our uh, arm or our face. So, All right, um, I'm going to take a little break here to do the first one. This is actually my first time doing this job, so we're going to learn together, and I'll show you on the second one. Be right back. Oh my god, that was so easy. So I just got this. This is a Milwaukee mid-drive impact. Cancel that uh, need for the 2x4. Let me show you guys just how easy this was. I hope it doesn't spin and break <laughs> in my face, but watch this. That blade's off of there. You see how easy that was? Get you one of these if you don't have one. If you already have the battery packs for the Milwaukee's, I think it was like 150 bucks for the mid driver. It's like 1200 pounds of torque, crazy. All right guys, I'm gonna proceed by taking the rest of these off and uh, then we're just gonna put the new ones on. Um, I'm definitely gonna keep two sets in rotation so that I can sharpen one um, and have a set ready to go and then take, you know, be able to switch it out whenever I see my grass not being cut correctly and then sharpen the other set at my convenience. So I'm going to keep two in rotation. All right, I'm going to um, put those new blades on and I'll show you what it looks like. Let me give you guys a quick comparison of how much of a difference this is going to make. Um, you see how, particularly this one, see how dull that is? This is an I'm embarrassed. See how sharp that is? Huge difference. And guys, I'm using this Milwaukee mid mid torque on level two, and I'm tightening it, tightening, tightening them all the way on level two. Um, no need for level three for this job, guys. Just as a reminder, um, don't forget to take these off of your old blades. Stick that washer back there so that it has a barrier in between. Let me see if I can tighten this last one up on camera for you. I am so, so I spent, hold on one second. Tough to do this stuff one handed. Try it someday. Again, just level two. Get it nice and snug. They move at 200 miles an hour. Okay. So I spent probably an hour and a half messing around with those with a breaker bar, with my drill.
let me try to recreate the moment here. My camera died. Um, so again, I spent an hour and a half trying to mess with those before with a breaker bar, my drill, you know, getting wood kind of chalked up in there to where I could break that bolt. And uh, that impact wrench is, is killer. Milwaukee, holler at me, send me some product. Just kidding. Um, guys, none of this stuff is its all paid for by me. It takes time to get all these tools gathered. Um, but, you know, as you go on, it certainly saves you money, um, especially if you've got quite a bit to maintain. All right, everybody, there's your blades. Um, stay tuned for the anti-scalping wheels and uh, rust preventative and some new John Deere green paint on the deck. Might even do the whole mower if uh, time allows. All right, guys, have a good one.